Good morning, Pudding Pops. <clears throat> do, do any of you remember Pudding Pops? They were by Jell-O brand, I believe. Um, yeah, I think so, Jell-O brand. And they were like a frozen pudding on a stick. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And they were like only 80 calories or 90 calories each and you really felt like you had a massive treat. It was, they were so, so good. Anyway, I, I don't know why I called you Pudding Pops and whatever. So, <laughs> we are headed to yoga this morning and then I need to hit Trader Joe's and a few other places. So, I thought I'd bring you along. I brought my coffee. Um, this is in my Starbucks Ohio tumbler, which I love. So yay, um, yeah, get your drink of choice and let's go. <laughs> get our namaste on. We have a gorgeous day, my friends. It's beautiful, perfection, and I'm excited about it. So yeah, I'm happy to be out running around doing errands. Yoga was amazing and now we are headed to the gluten-free bakery because I hear that on Fridays they have baguettes. Yeah, gluten-free baguettes, gotta try that. Okay, well that was a big giant bummer. Um, talked to Susan, she's the owner of this wonderful gluten-free bakery. They have been having baguettes on Fridays there. They had a special guy come in to bake them. But they weren't consistent, and so I was just speaking with her about how they're not doing them anymore because they're really focusing on their cakes, especially wedding cakes. Um, there's big business for gluten-free wedding cakes, and not everyone can make them, you know, extremely tasty. So they are doing a lot of business doing that, and so they're going to focus on the cakes. Um, and once they get that down pat, they're going to try to start back with the bread. So. I'm looking for good bread that's gluten-free, <laughs> darn it. But um, Susan promised me they're gonna work on it soon, so uh, maybe that'll happen. So now let's run to Trader Joe's. Quickly stopping at Barnes & Noble for a book on certain places in Hawaii. Okay, looking for lanai, and that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I also wanna go to Costa Rica. Anybody wanna go there with me? Does anybody else sit on the floor in the bookstore when they have to look at the bottom shelf? Because that's what I do all the time. I just kinda camp out. I didn't find the book that I was looking for about Hawaii, which I think it's because it's so darn small, Lanai, that, you know, there's not much to say. It wouldn't even make it a book. Um, but I did get this. So I'm very excited about it. Yay. Okay, now I'm running at, into, at home real quick. Um, I want to look for a couple things. I'll, see, I'll eventually get to Trader Joe's, I swear, but I keep stopping at other places first. have the most beautiful flowers here. Just gorgeous.
Okay, back home with all my stuff from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna unpack all this and then I'll show you what I got. Okay, let's start over here with the junky stuff. Um, white cheddar corn puffs, yummy. Add some organic white corn tortilla chips because I'm gonna make more hummus and this time I'm gonna try to remember to film myself making my hummus and I, cause I got a couple requests for that. So I'm definitely gonna do that. These windmill cookies. I have a family member who loves them. Um, for the hummus, I've got, got some garlic, some um, garbanzo beans, and some tahini. Got another bottle of the sesame soy ginger vinaigrette, really good. Two packages of Dutch yellow baby potatoes. Um, gluten-free bagels. These are the best gluten-free bagels I've tried, the Trader Joe's ones. They're really good. Um, two packages of the boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I can do all sorts of things with those. Um, these packages of jasmine rice that you just do in the microwave for three minutes, really good and super simple. Love those. Um, got some Canadian style bacon for um, someone who asked for those. And got some Alaska cod fillets, some wild cod. Looks like there's three in there. Um, sweet cherries and some Rainier cherries, really good, love them. Um, some pork chops, some boneless pork cutlets, my favorite shrimp spring rolls, some Eric Over, a couple veggie kebabs, thought those would be nice to throw in the grill with something. Um, an organic Mediterranean style salad kit, this, I thought this looked really good. And I'll just not have the um, flatbread strips in it. So there's that, I got I needed some new um, carrots, some cilantro for guacamole, some ginger snap peas, some sugar, I'm sorry, sugar snap peas, some baby spinach, some bananas, and then a bottle of Chardonnay, three of Pinot, and two bottles of the Limeade that I love so much. So that's my Trader Joe's haul. Um, I'm home now, I need to clean up and get ready for the rest of the day. Hey Grace and I are gonna go on a walkie in the park. Yes we are, let's get going girly. Let's get going. This is what's for dinner for two of us. My daughter and I are having some grilled veggies and some seasoned chicken breasts. So that's dinner tonight for two of us. Hi, it is almost eight o'clock tonight and had dinner, cleaned that up, watched a little TV with my daughter. Um, yeah, right now I'm laying on the deck furniture I'm like all lounged out on the deck furniture outside. It's an amazing evening. It's just, it's about 73 degrees, something perfect like that. And so I'm just all snuggled up and just kind of uh, relaxing out here on the deck. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Just doing some editing stuff on my computer. And I've got the book pages here from the library. This tells me um, new books coming out. And I'm texting with a couple friends. And I'm just kind of laying here. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, here I am, just sort of laying here. <laughs> we have that fence thing up for Gracie, so she doesn't plunge herself off of the deck. So for now, that's what we have. I'll eventually put more attractive things there. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it, as always, and I hope you guys had a great day.
I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.